Welcome to Registration Planner, your easiest way to find and register for classes that fits your schedule. To begin using the Registration Planner tool, you will first start by logging into the My BCC City portal. You can search for registration in the search bar on the top of your portal and click on the registration option from the drop-down. Alternatively, you can also start under the Pages section where you will look for registration and payments, then click on the option called Registration. Once on the registration page, you will find helpful options relating to registering for classes. It's always a best practice before registering for classes to view your pre-registration checklist. This checklist helps you to make sure you meet all requirements needed before you can register. Once you have met all of your pre-registration requirements in your checklist, you can return to the registration page in the portal and click on the Registration Planner button to be launched into the tool. You will then be greeted with a screen asking which college or colleges would you like to search classes at. Remember, whether you are a student at Moore Park, Oxnard, or Ventura College, you can take classes at all three colleges. Once you've selected the colleges you would like to look at, you can click on the Save and Continue button to continue to the schedule screen. On this screen, you have options on the top to help further define what kind of courses you are looking for. You can define by whether to look at courses that are open, can make updates to which colleges you can search classes under, view different terms upon availability, as well as how long a course is being offered for, whether it's for credit or non-credit, and what kind of instruction mode is offered. Next, you can add courses and breaks to your schedule. To add a course, just click on the Add Course button. From the Add Courses screen, you can find courses by subject, by a section CRN number, by an instructor's name, as well as look for courses that aligns with your degree works at plan, courses that fall under general education, and additional options for section and course, such as whether it is a CSU or UC transferable course, or if it is part of a PACE program or offers a low-cost textbook. Once you select a course, a brief description is displayed on the screen. You can then choose to add the course or look for another course once you click on the Add Course button, it will be added to your schedule. To return to your schedule at any time, click on the Build Schedule link in the top navigation bar. You will now see that the course you've added is under your Courses list. From there, you can look at Course Info as well as different sections of the course that is offered. Once you have added in your courses, you'll want to add in some breaks to your schedule. This is great to help you plan your schedule, as you can add things such as when you want to take a lunch or when you want to work a shift at a job. To add a break to your schedule, just click on the Add Break button. You can give the break a name, a start and end time, as well as selecting which days of the week your break applies. Once you have entered your info, just click on the Add Break button to have it appear in your schedule. Once you have your breaks and courses set up, you can click on the Generate Schedules button to view schedules that will work to the information you have provided. You can then view, print, and even email your schedule to a counselor to assist with any registration planning. If the schedule you have been provided with works for you, then you can begin the registration process by clicking the Send to Shopping Cart button. From the shopping cart, you can then click on the Register button and follow the on-screen prompts to register for your courses. Always remember that registration is not complete until all fees are paid for. To complete registering for classes, you will want to click on the Payment Options link in the top navigation bar, which will take you to the payment screen in your portal. For more information, please contact your college's Admission and Records office, or visit the registration page in your My VCCCD portal.